contrast and color and texture is really at the center of all of what I do. I get inspired by people as much as anything else. The solo violin piece that's coming up, Jenny came up to me and she said, hey, I'm going to be doing a series of solo recitals with Bach and Bartok, and I want a piece from you. And that's all she really had to say for me to say, all right, I'm going to give you a piece. That sounds like an amazing program. So then I went back and I re-listened to a bunch of music and created um, this piece. Cerberus, again, came about really um, because of three amazing musicians. Peter Evans, who can do anything that can be done on the trumpet and a lot of things that can't be done on the trumpet. And Marcus Rojas, who's the same with the tuba. I mean, that guy's ridiculous. And then, of course, Dave Taylor is the bass trombone guy. And so precise and so quick in how it jumps from one musical world to another. It'll be crazy, you know, lunatic playing, just kind of on the improvisational tip. Boom, it'll go right into something exactly written. It's got to be just there. And that's something we can do in the studio, but they seem to think that they could do it live. They really wanted to do it live. So it's going to be a pretty wild ride to see what they come up with. Then Al Lepowski, Big Al, <laughs> has this new ensemble. And I went to see them, and they were amazing. And I went up to him afterwards, and I said, I want to write you guys a piece. You guys are absolutely great. This piece, Pato Ivra, is kind of inspired by Arthur Rimbaud who's, you know, one of the great hellraisers of the 20th century and practically rewrote the face of modern poetry. And as a figure, he's also very inspiring. And I did a lot of readings, rereading a lot of his work. And it's constantly in motion. It's constantly changing tempo. There's no moment that's just in one tempo. It's either speeding up or slowing down the whole way through. So it's kind of like the waves of, a, of an ocean moving. And um, it's... it's in a sense, one long melody. It's very lyrical, which is also, I think, a very French trait. And then there's another piece, Illuminations. Uh, that's with um, Steve Gosling. And Steve is just another one of those incredible musicians. I used him on a recording called Liber Novus. And Steve was just so inspiring in the studio, and he's always been such an uh, inspiring, amazing performer. I wanted to write something for him, so I came up with this idea of writing uh, an exactly notated piano part that would then have a bass and drums accompaniment that would be improvised, kind of like a jazz, free jazz rhythm section backing up, you know, a Zanaka solo piece. I said, well, that's surprised that hasn't actually been done before. For me, music is experienced in the moment, in each moment, and I try to give the listener uh, something interesting and something exciting, something stimulating, something to think about, so that you come away from these concerts not thinking that you're thinking, but really thinking. And I think that's why a lot of the audience has been polarized, and there's people that love what I do and people who hate what I do. Uh, it's not something you can ignore. It's, it's in your face and uh, it may cause some problems or it may cause some joy. I want everybody to enjoy it, but that's, you know, not the motivation. The motivation is the music itself. Music done my way without compromise.